Hey, what's up everyone? It's Craig Chimay and today we are looking at, check it out, huh? It doesn't get much better than this. All right, let's open this up. Check it out. This is the Guyver Outdoor Fremont Pizza Oven. Cooks and works on pellets and I am so excited. Pizza night at my house is every single Thursday and it is now going to the next level. Why? Because I'm now able to make restaurant style pizza. Neapolitan pizza. I don't have to go to Italy with one of those big fancy ovens there. No, I can do it right here in the comfort of my own home. Check out what's in this box here. We've got the Geiber Outdoor Pizza Oven Safety Instructions. They show you how to make pizza. You see in this here? Oh my gosh. They tell you the flour to use. Now, if you're not using double zero flour, then what are you, you're just wasting your time, right? Just wasting your time. In this box, we have got, da da da. Oh, the stone. Now, I have been cooking in an oven on a pizza stone for many, many years. Uh, and you're like, well then why do you need a pizza oven? Why do I need a pizza oven? The reason is my oven could only get to about 500 to 550 degrees. Here this is. The stone is, it's all about the stone. All right, so this stone here, check that out. There's the stone, the pizza stone. This stone here will be able to get up to eight to 900 degrees, which means I'll be able to cook my pizza in anywhere from 90 seconds to three to four minutes. All right, so let's see what we've got going on here. All right, this is the chimney. Comes with this beautiful chimney, some Frisbees. Aye, aye, Captain. I see you over there, hello. It looks like we're gonna have some pretty good pizza. Okay. All right, it's all right here. So we push this off to the side. Don't let that fall on the floor. Bam, all right. Remember, 31 pounds, so, you, you know, not too heavy. This is what's so fantastic about this. I went to, um, my friend has a pizza oven, and it was not a Guyver. And here was the problem. We didn't know the temperature. He kept having to use this temperature gauge, and it was a real mess, more packing material. It was a real mess. This, I don't know, you guys gotta take a look at this. Can you see this here? I'm gonna turn it. This here is a, uh, check that out. The temperature gauge right there. You now know the temperature of your stone and of your pizza oven. In the back here, yeah, I'm sorry, turn that for you. Here is, Now this holds your wood pellets. Now I have heard some people actually put a couple pieces of charcoal in with their wood pellets to kind of keep it lasting a little longer. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that, uh, if that's a good idea or not, but I think there's a handle for this thing that has to be put together. I'm gonna whip this thing back around this way so you can see everything. All right. So there's the door, taking this door out here. Now this is all stainless steel. This is all real stainless steel. You can see it says Guyber Outdoor right there. Looks kind of nice. And then on the back here, if you get a little vanity, you got a mirror to check your hair. Everything looks good. I still look pretty darn goofy. Okay, now let's pull out what's in here. And what's in here? Let's see here. Oh. They give you a pizza peel. That is really nice. That's fantastic. And I like how there's, everything's been packed and shipped really, really well. Got a little something something in here. There we go. With Guyber, great food is always within reach. You see what they did there? They made me reach in to get that. Huh? There it is. And this gets me, uh, they're telling me a little thank you note. We really appreciate you buying this and I get 15% off with this incredible uh, code. So thank you, Guyber, for that. All right, before we move on, let's take a look and see what's in here. Get all our pieces and parts together. Ah, 
our pellet scoop. This uses a wood pellets, which you can get at any hardware store. I already purchased some and we'll see how it is. All right, this is the, uh, the handle. Another uh, door here. Handle, door. We got another handle and another handle. All right, so that's what's in the box. So we've got the manual here. It shows, it's got a picture of everything we've got here on the table. Their table looks much nicer than mine. So let's get started what it says, assembly instructions. instructions. Now, again, I, I don't work for the company, so I don't really know if, you know, the way to do this is exactly the right way, but this is the way we're gonna do it. First thing we're gonna do is pop up these little legs. Look at how nice that is, huh? Beautiful, I'm doing good so far. Next, it says then to flip it back over and put the chimney on, okay. Insert the chimney into the main body. Hey, huh? How about me? Now we find the uh, chimney flue. Let's get a screwdriver here. Pull this thing out. We're doing, it's Phillips screw driving. So we're just gonna pull this thing out, right? That's what it's saying to do. All right, is there a nut or anything in there? No, I'm a nut. Hey, now it's saying place the chimney cap on the chimney. Look at this. You can direct your smoke how you want it to go. Angling this, give this a twist and away you go. So check it out. Can you see that? I'll let you make sure you can see me screwing this in here. Just get it nice and snug. Don't over tighten this stuff. You over tighten this stuff, it's, it's real lightweight stainless steel. So you don't want to really ruin it. All right, let's get into the handles here. Next, pizza oven door. And it's saying to attach the plastic handle. Now these two handles look exactly the same. So I don't think there's a risk in using the wrong one. So this bag has three screws in it. Now, these two handles, this has two, this has two, this one has three. That's how I know this bag and this handle are gonna go together. So you can kind of see it. This is gonna go like this, according to what they're saying. And it's real simple. We put the screws through, all right? Screws through here, and then we push it through the Giver door, and then there it is. Check it out, right here. Just... Okay, get them started with your hand. Okay, let's just get the screwdriver going now. Snug, right? That's all we're going for. Not trying to show how strong you are, just trying to get them snug. They might spin a little bit in the back here, so you might need a, uh, I might need a wrench in the back to hold it. Okay, there it is, got a door. Look at that. Gotta hook it in. Guys, you gotta hook it in, come on now. You can't just, you can't just put the door there, it's gonna fall out. You gotta hook it in. There you go, what are we doing here? Next. We've got the basket. This holds all the pellets. This is where the heat comes in from. Put in the screw in here, and I'm gonna do this one first, just put the bolt in, and tighten that up. Okay, next, get the next screw in the bolt. Hopefully you can see these here. I'm making a mess. Tough for the camera person to try to follow me here. Putting it in, tighten it up. Hand tighten on the inside with these bolts. Okay, then go here, grab the screwdriver and put it together. Okay, there it is. Look at that. Wow, 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 huh? Now it's saying once you've got that together, grab the pellet holder and this goes in here like so. Waboom. You see how we're doing that? Can you see that? That goes in there like that. There you go. So now air is getting in underneath there. Perfect, this goes into the back. We'll, we'll, oh, I love it. We'll look at that closer later. Next, we're gonna turn the page. So now we've gotta put this guy in, the pizza stone. 
I'm not sure what side it is. I don't think it matters. We're just gonna kind of sneak it on in here. It doesn't go that way. Or maybe it did. Actually, I don't think it mattered which way you put it in. One more thing I need to do, and that is assemble the pizza peel. Uh, this here is what you put into the oven to grab the pizza in and out. So that goes on this guy here, and we will go ahead and do that very quickly. I must have missed that in the book here. No, it doesn't show me that. Okay, so I found these instructions inside the pizza peel bag. Check it out. It shows exactly how to put the screws in, and it looks like I may have done it upside down. They're telling you to put the screws in through the bottom and the bolts on the top. So that is not what I did, as you can see. So I am going to reverse those as I stated. But I did not see this piece of paper. It's not part of the book. It's a separate piece of paper. Actually, it does go in pretty far. So that's how you do that. Put the door on. Now let's take a look at what you see behind here. Yeah. You'll do the scoops. You'll put, put the pellets in here. Get it heated up. Watch that temperature gauge. For me, I like to cook pizza when I'm not at a stove at home. I go 500 to 550. And this guy, I would love to see this get up to eight or 900. That's where I'd like to be. Close to 800 as possible, even if we get to 850. What you need to do is watch it. You need to watch it. And sometimes you might even need to turn it so that it cooks evenly. Uh, that's it. This is a look at the Guyber grill. Um, you could take this out. Maybe it, that's why they take it out, make it so it's easy to, to store. You can fold it up, put it into a closet or in the garage. And then the nice thing about this is you could turn it any which way. It is not going to fall off. Look, I am pushing. It's not going to fall off. You could turn it any which way so that you can adjust the smoke and the heat. And that's it. It is now time for pizza. Thanks for watching this little unboxing segment with me. I hope you have a great day and uh, let's eat.